was taking a stroll, and she came upon a troll. Ah! The troll guarded a bridge, a troll who let no one pass without paying the toll. Princess Coconut Cupcake ordered the troll who takes the toll to lower the bridge so she might cross. But you must pay the toll, insisted the troll who takes the toll. Ha! Huh, says you, I am Princess Coconut Cupcake, and you must do as I say, said Princess Coconut Cupcake in an ever so high and mighty manner. That was not really good manners at all. <laughs> Heel? Heel, heel, help! <laughs> oh, so much for heel. Heel refused to pay the toll to the troll. She said, I will find my own way. Uh, well, and what do you say? I thought it sounded like story time. I'm sorry to interrupt. It's actually a good place to stop. <laughs> We're just at the end of the chapter. We'll find out what the littlest barrican told the princess next time. Yay! Bye-bye! Bye, kids! Wow, they really love that story. Every time I read it to them, it's like they're first. You know, Plum has been asking for ideas for a play to direct. And I'm wondering if she could do a berry fairy tale as a play. You know, put on a show for the kids. That's a great idea! I'll loan her my big book of Berry Can Berry Fairy Tales. Huh? This is great! What a super idea! You don't know how long I've been trying to decide which play to do. And how special to do something for the Berry Can Kids. It'll be like a cozy little story time on stage. Perfect! Thanks, girls! <laughs> 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 nice one, Plum! Thank you, Orange! <laughs> oh. Well, hello there, Plum! Uh -huh. <gasps> oh, Cherry, I'm so sorry! Oh, no! I kind of squashed your very big Glitz and Glamour magazine! I'm really... Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. Colossal Smash Stage Play at Berry Big City Theater. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Biggest thing to hit Berry Big Broadway in years. It's packing in the audiences. Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins? That's a big production. Wow. You know, I could do something sensational with that play. I would direct it. Bigger. Better. I could make it a bigger hit than it is in Berry Big City. I thought you were just putting something together for the Berry King kids. You know, a cozy little story time on stage. Huh? Oh, sure, sure. But this, this, this will be bigger and better. And when the final curtain falls and the applause of the audience is ringing in the rafters, no one will say that Plum can't direct a smash hit. I don't think anyone's saying that. And they won't. I'll direct a play that will make Berry Bitty City the talk of the theater world. <laughs> mirror, mirror, at my command. Mirror, Tell mirror, me my Barry command. Ferris. Tell me who is Barry Fairest in all the land. I've been to a lot of auditions in my time, and I've never had to wait this long. How long have we been here? Oh, since before lunch. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> 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 OK, 
Okay, that's it. I'm gonna find out what's going on. Why are you dressed like that? We thought we might have a better chance if we all dressed for the party. I'm guessing you're all trying out for Snowberry? Well, uh, yeah, of course. I mean, well, yes. And may the best gown, I mean, girl, win. Mm -hmm. Inspired, Barry Kinvani. Simply inspired. Now, you are a tree in a forest. What kind of tree? You know, am I a maple, an oak, spruce, birch fir, mulberry, hemlock, chestnut, pecan, silver fir, walnut, white fir, aspen, jeffrey pine, lodgepole pine, uh, rob lolly pine? Give me a moment. Okay, here it is. You are a redwood. So, as a redwood, how would you, from deep within your redwood heart, from the very depths of your redwood soul, sing this note? Hmm. A good start, but I'm not believing it yet. Plum? Oh, hi, Strawberry. Um, I believe there are others in line ahead of you. Plum? Yes? It's dark outside, and there are a lot of folks waiting. Do you think we might move the rest of the auditions to the morning? Oh. <laughs> Goodness, time just flies when I'm in my zone. A good idea, Strawberry. But I've got a big show to cast, so we better start early. People, people, all right, that's a wrap for tonight. Auditions continue first thing in the morning. How's this, huh? No! It should be somewhat sweeter. Sweeter? Oh, well, how did Plum say she wanted it for the play? Huh? There they are, our stars. Hey, congrats. Congratulations. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank very you. much. I'm so excited she picked me to play Snowberry. I can't believe I actually got the role, the part. But uh, I'm a little kind of uh, nervous. Well, Raspberry, you're going to be fabulous. <laughs> I just know it. And I'm so excited to be the Berry Mean Queen, but I'm a little nervous, too. I just hope I can do it the way Plum wants it. It is I, the Berry Mean Queen. <laughs> well, it's just supposed to be a fun show for the Berrykin kids. They'll love it no matter what. I don't know. Plum's putting a lot of pressure on us. The Berry Mean Queen is who I am. It is I who am the Berry Mean Queen. That's me, Very Mean Queen. I guess Plum really does want this show to be as grand as Berry Big City Theater's production. But how will she do that? We're Berry Bitty City. All we have is a bitty stage. Big! Think big! Curtain goes up in one week, people! No one should be reading their lines off their scripts anymore! Oh, Hello, Snowberry. We're the Seven Berrykins. Plum! Huh? Your design crew is here. At last! You seven, take five and memorize those lines! So, let's talk about the big tidal wave effect in Act Two. Uh, I don't remember a tidal wave in Snowberry and the Seven Barricans. I don't think Berry Big City Theater had a tidal wave. Exactly! But we will! That's why our Snowberry play will be bigger and better than Berry Big City's production! Uh. I'm just wondering, why does our play have to be better... And bigger! <sighs> that too, than very big cities. Do you want us to be the laughingstock of the theater world? A and I'm the director, so I'll be the laughingest of the stock. I could see the headlines now. Very Bitty City makes very big boo-boo. People pull plug on Plum. <laughs> Work with me, please. I said the Seven Berry Kids need to fly stage right to stage left, not left to right. Those launch platforms need to be built on the other side. Flying Berry Kids? I guess another thing only our Snowberry play will have. <gasps> Listen, I'm all for dreaming big, but I'm worried Plum is dreaming too big this time. Kind of going a little overboard. 
somewhere she'll never find her way back from. Here comes Lemon now. Speaking of going overboard. <laughs> Very overboard. <laughs> I order you, Royal Huntsman, to leave Snowberry. Hi. Come try some coconut swirl I just made. What would the Queen of the Kingdom want with that? Fetch me a short stack and make it snappy, or to the dungeon you'll go. Why don't you join us, Lemon? Aw, oh, guys, don't call me Lemon. I gotta stay in character. Join you indeed. What do you take me for? I only dine with royalty, and in the whole kingdom, tis no one as royal than I, which means I dine alone. Lonely at the top, huh? Forsooth, yay, and verily. Wrap those pancakes up, kind peasant. To go, I'll take them, I will. Can you not see that I, the very mean queen, am in a hurry? I'm expected at a rehearsal forthwith, or the director shall have my crown. Thank you, kind peasant. Make way. Overboard is right. Do you think she'll turn back into Lemon after the play? Or will we be stuck with Berry Meme Queen forever? <laughs> <laughs> okay, try it again. Again? We're doing it till we get it right. Mirror, mirror, at my command, tell me who is Berry Fairest in all the land? Uh, is it Princess Berrykin? Berrykin Bloom? Oh, wait, uh, don't tell me. Uh, is it J.D. Bug at the post office? No, Berry Kim Bloom. We're not in Berry Bitty City right now. We're in the play Snowberry and the Seven Berrykins. And all you have to do is say your lines. Do you remember your lines? Uh, oh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, the script. Um. <sighs> Give him the next line, Berry Mean Queen. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! Is it? The mirror never... Oh, yes, Miss Plum, I remember now. The mirror never sighs. <sighs> lies. The mirror never lies. Oh, that's it. The mirror never lies. Yes, you got it. <sighs> Let's do it again from the top. Mirror, mirror at my command. Tell me who is very fairest in all the land. Snowberry. Snowberry? <gasps> That's impossible! The mirror never cries. Oh. Oh, deary me! Goodness gracious! I am lost in the woods, the terrible, wearable woods, alone and frightened. It is a dark night. I am so very, very scared of the fearsome animals and wild creatures. Come on, girl. You can do it. It's your big scene. Huh? Oh, fearsome creatures. Oh, wild animals. Are you there? Somewhere? can't see you any wild animals at the moment, but I sure know they're here because I can just feel they are near. I can kind of, you know, sense them. Oh, I must hide from the wild animals. Gasp! Why, here is one now! Hmm. <laughs> An opossum? I mean, a wolf? I mean, what are you supposed to be? Cut! Be? Raspberry, it's a ferocious tiger! Oh, right! Well, I forgot. Without the tiger costume, I guess, you know, I couldn't tell. And the line before that, that's not in the script. Well, it just didn't feel real to my character to say there were wild animals when there wasn't. Uh. I couldn't see them. I understand. Ta-da! Huh? We finished painting the cottage backdrop, you wanted, Plum? Great. Let's see it. What am I looking at?
looking at? The, the Seven, seven Barricans Cottage. Well, it looks like two different buildings stuck together. Well, I was thinking they would live in this kind of house. And I really feel this is the sort of home that I, I, I mean, <laughs> they would prefer. So we, uh, split, split the, the difference. difference. Oh, Plum, may I please speak with you about my lines in the scene with the Berry Mean Queen? I don't think they are genuine or, you know, organic or, I mean, really true to my character. <gasps> huh? This is not how a cast behaves! <laughs> Sorry, Plants <laughs> Puppy Soria. Huh? Uh, Plum, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm not sure it's a good idea to sit right there. new kid named Snowberry, who is looking pretty fair these days. What? Well, uh, did you really expect to be very fairest of the land forever? So, are you saying the Snowberry is fairer than I? Um, yes. That's impossible! Uh, the mirror never... Lies? <sighs> oh, uh, mm, uh, the very idea! Show me this, Snowberry! Well, okay, if you insist. Ugh! Remove her, please! No, I mean, I need her removed from the planet! Well, I'm just a mirror. Don't you need something like some uh, evil huntsman or, or something for a job like that? <sighs> huntsman and poison apples couldn't do the job, so I'll have to do it myself. Oh, my. Oh, dear. I am done for. No, you're not, Snowberry. Curses! It's the Southern American... Me. 
Plum, here. <laughs> Say hello to the director of Snowberry and the 700 mishaps. <laughs> oh, you'll pull it together. It just got a little bit big and a little less fun. It got a lot big and a no fun. A little play for the baby berrykins was a fun idea, but I kind of went overboard. <laughs> I bet everyone is mad at me. Oh, they aren't mad at you. They're all on stage, waiting for their next directions. Really? Maybe you could do a different play, something on a smaller scale, so you could have fun directing it. You think they'd give me a second chance? Everyone loves you, Plum. Of course. Are you on it, everyone? I have an announcement. If you're willing to help me with another play, I promise we'll do something simple and fun. Something the Little Berry Kins will love. Oh, well, I, uh, I found a story that sounds like fun. And when can we start? How about tomorrow morning? 